Hello spider fans, I'm Sam from Bug Realms and you're watching The Tarantula Cave. Hello spider fans and welcome back to The Tarantula Cave. My name is Martin and I just want to say a quick thank you to Sam the Man. Bugman Sam from Bug Realms for his lovely introduction. Um, as you can see, uh, this episode is going to be all about awesome phasmids, and there's going to be a special shout out for Sam as well. So stay tuned. So here's what's up. Uh, I filmed this a while ago, but basically I wanted to share with you guys how I keep my stick and sex or phasmids or stick bugs if you're American. Um, I have Acreotera phallax. Um, this is the male, I have a female as well, and I've also got Diaphorodes gigantea, gigantea, whatever you want to call them, the green bean stick insect. Um, both extremely beautiful and extremely cool species. Um, the Diaphorodes gigantea are growing up pretty slowly, but they're getting there. I kind of, they were all the same size when I got them, and now one of them is twice the size of the other two. Um, I assume that's a female, and we'll see what happens with the other two. And then I have this pair of lovely Acreotera phallax, um, who I haven't seen mating yet. There are no eggs on the kitchen roll. I don't know uh, whether they're going to do that, whether they've already done it, why the female isn't laying eggs. They're um, a sexual species, which means that they need to have sex for the female to produce fertile eggs. Whereas the Diaphorodes Actually, I think the Diaphrodes are also sexual, so that's worth bearing in mind. Um, a lot of stick insects can just produce fertile eggs by themselves, but they tend to be, or they will always be, female. Um, both the species I keep eat bramble, which is really convenient, which is why I went for them actually, because I don't want to be messing around getting more than one type of food plant. So this video is just really me cleaning out their enclosures, putting new bramble in, and showing you these awesome, awesome phasmids. Before I do that, if you're new to this channel, then do please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get more updates. I want to say a special thank you to Sam from Bug Realms for the awesome gift that he gave me at the British Tarantula Show. For those of you who didn't see my video, I've linked it below and if the cards are working it should be up there somewhere. Um, but essentially he decided he was going to give a gift to all of the Tarantula YouTubers who attended the show and um, he gave us all these little packets. It's very surreptitious and cool um, but yeah basically I got it back and unwrapped it and this was what it was
So that's about it for my phasmid special. I just wanted to share with you guys how I keep my two species. They're ridiculously easy to keep, although I'm not sure whether or not I'm doing the right thing for this guy. I feel like he should be getting a lot more action than he is. Um, and maybe it's to do with temperature or humidity, or maybe he's still settling in. Um, also, they do this really cool thing where they pop their wings out to look scary. I did manage to get a bit of video of that, so I will share that now. Thanks for staying tuned. If you're new to this channel, do remember to subscribe. If you want to get notifications of my future videos, then do hit the bell icon because you have to do that, otherwise you won't get notified. And even if you do, you might not get notified because who knows what YouTube are doing now. Where are you going, little guy? What's going on? Oh, don't freak out. Don't freak out. There's nowhere to go from there. Nowhere to go. You wanna come this way? What are you doing? Say hi to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Anyway, I'm gonna put you back before this gets weird. Maybe it's weird already. Beautiful.